Don't try to see how I should sit. Nah, you good, bro. Alright, you ready? Yeah. Now you fuck with young Jose. I'm tuning in with Voice of You, Taco Talk TV. Hey, look, man. Hey, man, say, man. Thanks for pressing play, man. You tuned down with uh, Young Taco from Taco Talk TV. And who we sitting with today? Man, big Jose, man. Young Jose. Yeah. What's up with you, bro? Cool, man. Yeah. Ah, yeah, I feel you. <laughs> I feel you. Shit, we're going to jump right into it, though. You just like been cranking. You just like came up on the radar. Yeah. You feel me? Yeah. Awesome. Awesome. <laughs> cranking shit. So I just had to make sure we got into this, man. Yeah. It's summertime, so you know I'm working hard. You know what I'm saying? But what's up? Where you from? Man, I'm from 30 Sound, New York. Yeah. The trench. The yeah. The trench. I was looking at that, bro. I was looking at a, a music video, and I seen the joint was right across from where JGB at. Oh, I was at. I think, it, or it looked like it at least. That probably ain't right. JG from Trent. Okay. Y'all like on the other side. Okay. Maybe I'm tripping. But let's get a breakdown. How you come with your name? You had a couple names or two or a couple. Yeah, Jose Glizzy. Yeah, Young Jose. You want to know how I got Jose? Yeah. From Glizzy. That was going to come later, but if you want to get into that now, we could do that too. No, nah, we could do that later. All right. I got uh, Jose, my real name. Real yeah. name Joseph. Okay. So I just. And the Jose, shit just worked. The young okay. just got added. Okay, okay. You think you're going to keep young up there when you get older, or it's just going to turn into this Jose? Might be Big Jose. Big Jose, okay. That's timeless. Might be Big Jose. Okay, okay. I feel that. And what about DMG? Where that come from? Uh, I came from some good men from Ben and Pop. Yeah. He was fucking with Ben and Pop. We all just came up with a name and shit. But I just took it on some rap shit. Yeah. That's how that happened. He was just like doing your thing last year, too. And But this year, just different year, too. So what's going on? How did you make such a... You know what I'm saying? You made your name blow up a lot bigger this year. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So how? what was the mindset for that? Man, it just came with, like, going through more shit. Yeah. Getting more money. Seeing different shit. Yeah. Going different places. That's how that is. Was you was you pushing for that change, or did it just happen? Nah, that shit just happened. For real. Yeah. I started getting money out of nowhere. Yeah. I don't know how it happened. You start praying more, working mm-hmm. harder, what was it? Gotta be something. No, you did. my son. Okay. Yeah, my son died, like, motivated me. Okay. Pushed me to go harder. Really doing this shit. Yeah, really out here. Yeah. Um. What's been your favorite part of rapping so far? Man. The attention. Okay. A little attention. Yeah. I love to be seen. What was you like before rapping? You was still that dude, like, like take him back yeah. to school. Yeah, I was that nigga. Yeah. And Anna. What I'm type? Anna. What type of nigga was you? Like funny ass nigga, fighting ass nigga. Nah, I ain't the fighting. I I I wasn't the fighting type, but yeah. I fight. My men fight. If I got fight, but one of them cool niggas until shit just pop off. Yeah. Then I gotta take it there. <laughs> Is it? Do you do you mind taking it there, or you be trying not to take it there as much as possible? Cause some niggas just be like, "Fuck it, you give me an opportunity to take it there, I'ma take it there." And other niggas be like, "Nah, I ain't trying to get into that." See, I think about shit before I do shit. So yeah. if it's worth it, then I'ma take it there. If okay. It ain't, I'm cool. Some niggas ain't worth my time. Respect. And what's 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 the process like of you? Rapping is it is it writing is it is it just all right? Let me go through something. Then I talk about that. Is it all right? I'm trying to tell a story. What's the process like coming up with a song? It's like everything you just said. It's like I gotta go through some shit to write. I don't freestyle. Respect. But it's like the beat talk to me too. Yeah. So it's like the beat to tell me what to say. 
So even if I ain't going through shit and the beat crank like shit, I can still come up with some shit. Okay. But my best music, I think, is when I really go through shit. Because I can real put my heart out to my story. Is your best music separate from your most popular music? Or are they the same? They the same. Okay. Okay. I just asked that because I did a... I got a couple interviews. And some of the interviews, the ones with the most views, may not be my best one. You know what I'm saying? No, I don't know. I don't know. All right, respect. As I be trying to explain my thoughts, make sure people be on the same page as me and shit. Um, but when you when you go through a song, what what happens first? You go through it, then you come into the studio, or you just turn on the beat, and then you start thinking about, all right, what did I go through? Which one can I pick from? I don't know. Hold on, repeat, repeat that shit. So like repeat when you shit. when you go in and you feel like you want to go make a new song, right? You go to the studio and turn on the beat first, or you go through some shit and then oh, you like, man. all right, I want to go to the studio with this yeah. one. Yeah, I okay. go through some shit, then be like, all right, let me go to the studio. Yeah, type shit. Yeah, respect. And is there any certain amount of things that you feel like you gotta rap about? Man, I rap about everything. Yeah, real life, your whole life. Everything, yeah. whole life. Respect. Yeah. Um, it's 2018. We in the we in the midpoint. You know, seven. What what's that? Five months left. So, what you got in 2018 that's cooking up to make 2019 a hot ass year? I'm about to drop an EP. They don't try and drop blaming on the streets too. Yeah. Then me and my man Savage trying to drop some shit. Yeah. And I was going to say, I was tuned into an interview my man, Who's Mizzou. Shout out Who's Mizzou, man. You a real nigga. I fuck with him. You did your first interview with him? Nah, he wasn't my first, bro. Oh. I did. My first interview was with Stewie. Shout out Stewie. Oh, yeah. I'm next to Stewie. Yeah. All right, so you got a couple interviews under your belt. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. and, and so and I think interviews, I think they mark a certain part in time. Like, when you take a picture, you can go by it. Boom. Okay, I remember this day. And I think interviews is like that, too. Yeah. And I was just telling somebody else, I measure an artist's growth sometimes with their hair. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you look at me, when I first saw the interviews, I had to fade. Yeah. Look at her, Rich. He first came out, he had the afro. Or the low head cut, really. But I was tuned down to the afro. So what do you think it's like for you? That, that, them different steps in time. Where you think you came from? Man, where I came from? Yeah, starting with the rap shit. Mm. I don't really know. I came a long way though. I used to rap with uh, my men and shit. It was Bobby S and UPT and shit. Yeah, but we was some shit though. <laughs> we was some shit. Like what? Like I had potential though. Yeah. So I knew I could do it, but I wasn't as good. All right, how could you even see your potential when the whole group was some shit? Like, what made you realize I, that? I ain't. I don't want to sneak this, and they good yeah. man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, I ain't I like that. Like, Rapping ain't I was for shy, everybody. Know, like, I was just like coming a little bit more harder than most people. Yeah. So that's why I ran with that shit for real. Respect. Respect. Um. Oh, but when you did the joint with Mizzou, you was talking about. You wouldn't work with no other niggas. And now, 2018, you kind of going crazy with a lot of people. Even 2017, you really started it off then. Yeah. Uh, who's Mizzou? John said, I want to do a mixtape with nobody oh, okay. else. My man C that died. Big shout out to my man C. I said, I'd never do a mixtape with nobody else. Yeah. Other than C. But features, I've been with doing features. Okay. So, I'm just fucking with niggas now because I see niggas really popping. Yeah. Niggas cool. Niggas ain't no rap time. Yeah. The niggas ain't, that ain't no rap time, I'm fucking with them. Exactly. Because I'm in the streets. I ain't on this rap shit. What's rap time for them, those people watching that don't know? That don't know what you're talking about. I know what you're talking about, man. But some people may rap not know. Rap time is like dick ride. Niggas be dick ride. Right? Yeah. Like, motherfucker, you might uh-huh. get a nigga. Even producers. Producers do this shit too. Like, yeah. They just choose who they want to fuck with. Like, just don't wait till I'm popping to start fucking with me. Yeah, it's not. Like, shit be way bigger than rap. Yeah. 
That's how I be looking at that shit. Niggas just be on rap time. You might talk to a nigga, nigga, till you send him some, you send him some, nigga never get on the jump. Yeah. Niggas taking their time. But if you had a nigga like Jay Z send you some, you will spend your last on the studio to go do yeah. that shit. Like, I want the same respect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, don't treat me like no wild nigga, because I ain't no regular nigga out yeah. here. Yeah, yeah, respect. What do you think? All right, so how important is credibility to you then? Because some people may not be credible, but they sending you some shit or can't pay the whole tag on a feature. You know what I'm saying? Because I understand where you coming from, but I kind of understand what other people I mean, but from I just look at the shit like, if you're a man in your word, you're a man in your word. Like, don't tell a nigga to send you some shit. Stop. Then he send you and you not taking your time and shit. Niggas trying to drop shit. Yeah. Niggas trying to take off with this shit. Niggas ain't trying to play with this shit. Yeah, yeah, really going hard, and they still not... You know what I'm saying? Not on the same level with it. Niggas ain't on the same page. Niggas don't want to see you up more than them. Yeah. That's all. Now, what's up? How did how did Jose Glizzy become a a name for you? How did that whole connection come together? It's a 30 Sam thing. Yeah. He from 30 Sam. Shy, he from 30 Sam. I'm from 30 Sam. My man Mari Jai, like, got it together, though. Rest in peace to my nigga Mari. But he just like plugged us in together and shit. Made it happen. He told me change my name. Change the name. Jose mm -hmm. Glizzy. And Glizzy was fucking with him. Yeah. He was fucking with you. What's he that with me. What's that relationship like now? Like compared to Jose Glizzy to young Jose? I feel like it's just a respect thing. He know me, I know him. Yeah. We respect each other. Shit just mutual. Yeah. I feel that. Everything cool. And people sometimes feel like you got to be tied to somebody once they see you with them. Nah. It's cool. Yeah. That's my man. He cool as shit. I feel like... I feel like... I don't know. Most people... That's just what people expect. They see people cranking together. They feel like they got to be together all the time. And it um, may not always be like that. You got to be like... I had to learn that, though. Yeah. When I first started fucking when I was, like, young-minded... Yeah. I ain't really know nothing, but now that I'm mature, I, I understand shit more. Yeah. I understand why he move how he move and a lot of shit. Yeah. Do you think that the life that you have is the proper one for you to also be a rapper? Nah. Uh, nope. What? I be spending so much time in the streets, I could be using that time in the studio. Yeah. But it's like, that rap shit ain't paying shit. Yeah. They gotta do what he gotta do. Yeah, for real. Nah, speaking of that though, you seem like you set. You seem like you set. I seen you the other day, and that's why I had to DM you. I'm like, ho, oh, what's going on? You got them racks out. Man, Jose, bro. <laughs> <I ain't> got... <laughs> Jose Respect. Bro, man, I ain't got no money, man. Respect. I'm just cool now. Doing what I can do. What's your goal with the rap set? Like, everybody want to be a rapper right now. You know what I'm saying? And most people is not really tough. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Now, for you, what makes it so important? Like, what's the thing you got to achieve with this music shit that you feel like is so important? Man, I got to get a deal. Yeah. Got to get a deal. Even if I don't get a deal, I just, I could go independent. Yeah. Like... What the fuck is it? Like cosign? I, I think with oh, distribution or deals. Yeah, shit like that. Yeah. I just want want to get big. Now, if you could get a deal, like somebody called you later this week, boom, you know, Jose, what you need, bro? You want to sign to an artist or you want to do it yourself? Which one would you pick? Myself? Yeah. I wouldn't want to do no artist. Like, I want. Now, yeah, I do an artist. Or a label. Nah, no, I do an artist. Respect. Why? What? Or what artist would you even be thinking about? But why artist over a label? I fuck with Dolph. Dolph. I just like want to fuck with Dolph Hart. Huh? He just yeah. be on ball shit. Yeah. <laughs> he just be on ball shit. Yeah. I'm trying to smoke Kush on the yacht, man. Yeah. Young Dolph definitely be cranking. But why? Why choose an artist over a label? I don't know. I think an artist would be more, more like 
What the fuck is the word I'm looking for? Damn. More willing or more open? Yeah, so like more open. Do. Yeah, like they want to be so strict on certain shit. Yeah. Type shit. That's why I think of artists. And what's the numbers you looking for? Oh, I need six figures or better. I ain't I ain't really tripping. I don't need no M artists. Okay. Six figures, and I'm going, because I'm going to flip that to a million, billion. Yeah, I'm going to flip it. Respect. So I don't need all that. I ain't signing for no fifty thousand. I might as well. You I can you, make that in the street. You get you a a, a nice little amount, right? What's the first three things you buying? My mother a house. Okay. Uh, the fuck else? I don't know. I'm just gonna live it up, man. That's the first thing I'm buying on my mother house. Oh, a car. I'm buying a car. For you or for her? Who? But now nah, your mother or her oh. or or you? Nah, my mother ain't got no license. I respect. She don't drive, so it's just gonna be for me. <laughs> respect. You respect. might have buy my girl one too though. Okay. Okay. What about all right? Third thing. Yeah, she get a car too. All right. Respect. You not interested in getting no chain, bro? I just like need me a taco chain. <laughs> want a chain too. Big ass DMG jump. Yeah. Big ass Jose jump. That joint like that. I think it's. Yeah, it's I want to change too. It's a, I mean, I don't really know because I ain't got it. I know once I get it, just know it's going to be shit going on. A lot of shit going <laughs> on. Stunt. All right. If you would give us an estimate of how much you made in the streets, if that's not hot. Nah, that ain't hot. I ain't got shit to do, no. See, you talking about made, like, so you ain't talking about, like, what I got saved or shit. Like, you just shit. talking about what I made. Yeah, what you made. Man. Because you may not have it saved, but you still touch that amount. Damn, I don't know. I done moved a lot of shit. <laughs> no funny, yo. Stop. I done moved a lot and did a lot of shit. Probably. Mm, no. The most probably be a hundred. Like just okay. spent. Probably be a hundred. I done spent the last shit. <laughs> like the last shit this year I done spent over thirty, probably forty. Just this year going in. <laughs> in the seventh month. Just this year going in. Then I done fucked them. I done lost a lot of money. I done got money took. Not yeah. took in front of me. Like stove. Yeah. The whole lot of shit. Yeah. So, yeah. 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 This street shit for real. This shit come with losses. I had to realize that though. Yeah. That's what come with this shit. Can't let that shit break you. Yeah. I was reading somewhere like that people in the hood, people in the trenches or whatever, be having so many losses, right? As far as like losing their man to the streets or whatever. Yeah. How do you keep on moving forward past that? You know what I'm saying? Because that shit really could really hurt you and fuck you up. You know what I'm saying? Nah, definitely. And they and they also said that some of these people need like uh, PTSD counseling. That's post traumatic stress disorder. You know what I'm saying, and they be trying to figure out why people in the hood be going crazy over the drugs. Not tweaking out or nothing, but just like you know what I'm saying, perks. Obviously, all this shit is going through the hood. But all these people in the hood need that that medication, and it may not be prescribed. See, I feel like. My men died, like, that shit fucked up. Just to know that they ain't coming back. But I I look at shit like this. My men are trying to be like, man, let's not go this place or something. We got to worry about this. I look at this shit like, nigga too deep in this shit to look back. Yeah. Like, it ain't like a nigga about to get a million dollars tomorrow so he can move out this shit. Yeah. Nigga got to be patient and wait for that day to come. So until that day come, a nigga got to live life. Yeah. If you going to go, you going to go. You can't Sorry. look at life. Like, oh, I ain't going this place because this, that. Nah. You don't think you got to consider that, though? Just, like, you ain't going to walk into no spot where you feel like they set you up. But it is sometimes, all right, boom, it could be a problem here. Let's hit something else. No, I ain't saying don't. I ain't saying just be like, like, I right, go ahead. I'm going to go anywhere because yeah. I ain't going anywhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I ain't bluffing like I just go yeah, anywhere. Yeah, nah, exactly. I think about shit. Well, it's just certain shit you can't control. Yeah. Like certain shit you just you just can't control it. Yeah. You might run into somebody. Yeah, it's not. Nah, it's been a couple of things like that. You like going to the clubs or you like going yeah. like party and kickbacks type shit? 
I'm always in the club. For real. Yeah. And how you be going? Are you be in there with the bottles or the gas or what? I'm in there with both. For real. Yeah. I tell niggas, anybody watching this interview, I ain't going to the club unless I'm on stage. Nah, see, I ain't got to be on stage. I ain't going to the club unless I'm in a section. Yeah, respect. That too. If I ain't in a section, I ain't going That too. Anymore. Nah, they just like be treating me wild at the club, so I don't even be trying to fuck with it. I be like, fuck them. Nah, see, they, they show me love. Yeah. See, now, that's why I say if I'm on stage or in a section, I'm coming in with you. All right, go on there. Don't give me no hard time. But shit, I don't be in the clubs like that, so they don't know what's going on or whatever. Shit, we just got in the club for free. Man, See, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> we got in that bitch for free. They told us, go ahead. That's what I'm saying. I walk up. If I ain't on stage, bro, like some places I go to, they be like, oh, okay, boom, you talk about boom, okay, you slide down. Yeah. But they be trying to tax me. I ain't no bitch, bro. <laughs> I ain't about to pay no no large amount of his fee. And I understand everybody got to make their money, but yeah, we doing a service here. Some shit disrespect, though. Like yesterday, I know a good man. He was throwing the club. Yeah. But before I knew that, I was telling the nigga, like, we only got 20. Like, I ain't paying yeah. 40. Just stop, that stop. Same shit. But my man was like, this my jump, yo, this land that. I'm yeah. like, I, I respect it. Yeah. Just because it's your jump. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stunt. Some shit just a respect. Stunt, yeah. It definitely be a lot of a lot of situations like that. I threw a party the other day and I told a nigga, ain't nothing personal, but yeah. money got to be yeah, made tonight. Business. Yeah. But, all right. We better hop into the motherfucking <laughs> five random questions unless you got something else you want to talk about. No. <laughs> uh, the first random question. What's the craziest sex story you got? <laughs> Man. <laughs> see, I don't know. The craziest shit, like. Because, see, I don't. I'm still. I'm only 20. <laughs> <laughs> so I ain't real. Like, I real just started spurs and a little lot of shit, though. I'm, I ain't even gonna say it. I'm just going out Miami. <laughs> I ain't gonna say nothing. I'm just gonna say when I went to Miami. It was turnt. That shit was crazy. Respect. It was just a look on his face, y'all. It was heavy. <laughs> shit was crazy out Miami, yo. <laughs> Respect. Um, second random question. Does your personality match your music? No, no, <laughs> respect. So, what you what would you say the difference is? What you think the difference is? Oh, you don't think it's a difference? I don't think it's a difference. Respect. Um, third round of question: How do you save money? Like, what's your strategy, man? I ain't got no motherfucking strategy. I'm trying to get a strategy. Yeah, but. Nah, you be having them racks though. That shit, it's easy <laughs> to save money. But see, it's different for me because I ain't on no little boy shit out here. Yeah. I'm on big boy That's shit. That's what I'm saying. So Life kind of be money, expensive. It, it could be easy. But I like the, I'm into fast life. So yeah, I see you. Shit just fashion. Yeah. I'm into it, so I spend shit. Yeah. yeah. I spend Cash. That's what I'm saying. So how do you save? You definitely be having so like you just gotta, you gotta save. You gotta stop doing this, stop doing that. Yeah. Stop paying for niggas shoes, paying for everybody to eat. Yeah. It's the last shit you gotta stop. Stop you got responsibilities. Stop. I've been I've been trying to get to that point myself. But it just be seeming like life is so expensive. You got uh, I got eight today. All right, but my eight now. I need some snacks. These shoes just came out today, and they crushing. Sometimes you got to start to eat, though. Yeah, it's not. That's a fact. I need to start doing that. I be feeling like if I got bread, I ain't going to starve. Man, you might got to eat some noodles. Yeah. Buy some lunch meat. Stunt. Nah, we be buying like lunch meat, though. I be on, yeah. I be on that. That's what I need to do. Real tips from Taco Talks TV, man. Young Jose. Uh... Fourth random question. I might change this joint up because you just like answered it, but how often do you fight? I don't fight. Yeah. I've been fighting lately, though. I had to fight an old man, (laughs) mother. Hey, tell that story. What was going on? Man, look. 
me and the motherfucker, we got a stone around my way and shit. Yeah. I'm sitting on the old damn car. The nigga come out, he tell me, he like, get the fuck off my car. I'm like, damn, I'm like, oh, you ain't got to talk to me like that. Just yeah. like, you can just Actually. be like, can you get off my car? I got yeah. off. He like, I ain't trying to shit you saying, get the fuck off my car. Bitch, I don't ever want to see you on this. I said, so I asked one of the people that were, I'm like, y'all cool with him? Like, y'all know? <laughs> they like, nah, I just pop smooth off on him. Boop, he got a whoop in him. The nigga Christ came back know. with a bet. I'm like, oh, this old head tripping like shit right here, yo. So what you do? You stepped off or he was pressing you or what? Man, nah, he ain't gonna press me. <laughs> we stepped off though, we was gone. Yeah. I guess he called his brother or some shit. We walked right past and you know, he ain't say nothing. Still to this day, I walk past. He don't say nothing. That's some funny ass shit. <laughs> I got them fighting with you, yo. Um, I'm playing with me. Yeah, and you can't let him do that. Can't. He can't. Uh... Fifth and last random question, man. You like winter or summer more? Winter. Why? Cause in the summer, it be, be hot as shit. shit. <laughs> you can't do nothing to get cold except like in the shade. If it's, it's winter, you can dress, you get warm type yeah, of shit. That's it'll shit. be cold either way. You, you got control. Yeah, that's how I be. Most of my fly clothes for the winter. I don't yeah. need. I don't even like being out in the summer for real, for real. Yeah, man. Hey, man. Make sure y'all tune in to Young Jose. Yeah. Tune into that motherfucker for mine. That motherfucker, 100 P's in the chat right now. Yeah. And what's new? What's coming out? What's coming out that when this joint come out, you'll be dropping something? Third person might have come out. Me and my man Savage. Okay. Shout out, shout out to his bitch ass. Yeah. Then I got another video dropping called Savage. Yeah. Two, so two videos about to drop. Respect. Went for exclusive Steve. Big shout out to exclusive Steve, too. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, One more question. What producers you working with? Engineers? Uh, Crank Shop. Just send me some shit. Yeah. That's like, yeah, I used to fuck with Clip. Yeah. Big shout out to Clip. Tweez. Shout out to Tweez. Yeah. That's it for real. Respect. Respect. Hey, peace out, Girl Scout. Sweet jeans, designer of jeans. See you around like a donut. Make sure you stay tuned to Tyler Talks TV. It's a little, uh, but I ain't no rapper, though. Hey, but make sure you hit the little subscribe button uh, if it's your first time tuning in. You know what yeah. I'm saying? We need that. We're yeah, going yeah. up. Fit.